Pokemon chips in three minutes. This week, I'm going to talk about Pivotal. I was in Las Vegas last week, and it was all about Spring One Platform, which is their developer event. Interesting choice of words. It seems like Spring is kind of swallowing Pivotal. If it's Spring One Platform, that comes first. That's what they're leading with. Interesting. So let me tell you a bit about the conference. I thought the theming and narratives were really, really cr clear and crisp, uh, particularly around the, the, the interrelationship between business and business change. And what's interesting to me is, you know, Redmond spends its time looking at these bottom-up adoption effects. It's all about developers making choices. But what's clear is, is as we enter digital transformation and there are more sort of Fortune 500 companies, they're really getting obsessive about this stuff. Now, the Pivotal Way uh, is uh, the, the kind of thought behind Pivotal Labs and pair programming, the way that they developed applications. And it's sort of a religion. There's a bit of a cult within the company. What really struck me was seeing companies uh, external, i.e. Pivotal clients, using that same language. So um, Doug Safford uh, of Allstate said uh, that, that pair programming, extreme programming, and the Pivotal way is the biggest bang for the buck they've come across in developing software. And I just think that's really interesting when you've got the customer doing that level of uh, advocacy. So uh, Comcast, uh, NBC, these are big brands that are in the midst of a digital transformation. I mean, recently, you know, GE, we're moving all in on the cloud. The digital transformation is happening. It's happening at scale. And that was, I think, what, what, what I kind of heard about from a, a, a top-down narrative perspective at, at, at the event last week. Okay, that's not all that's going on. Uh, what's interesting is if we look at the, the Cloud Foundry platform, um, it's definitely got some momentum. Uh, you've got IBM uh, and, and Pivotal kind of slugging it out there, ground war, attritional war, sales-driven war, going into the enterprise, selling hackathons as a service, you know, bringing them into places in San Francisco and New York, you know, the digital garage and, garage and IBM's uh, sort of uh, lingo. But what's interesting, you know, it's not necessarily a developer-driven phenomenon, it's a sales-driven phenomenon. But there's this other thing, this other asset, that Pivotal has, and of course that is Spring One, or should I say, sorry, the Spring platform, and notably the, 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 the rewrite for microservices, Spring Boot. Brilliant, brilliant keynote from Phil Webb, uh, Philip Webb, uh, who's on the, the engineering team there, and as he put, put, as he put it, what was happening, there was a bunch of, of business change. Oh shit, I'm supposed to be getting this done in three minutes. I must already be at like four minutes. Okay, a bunch of business change. That meant that all of the management executives are all like, shuffling papers and not paying attention. So the engineers went, built a microservices platform, it's Spring One, it builds on the work done by Rod Johnson at Spring, and they're like, all out, we want Java ownership. We're going out to own this thing. And obviously with Oracle, sort of not quite sure, you know, what they're gonna be announcing at Java One and so on, it makes sense to be making that hardcore, developer-led, uh, uh, developer adoption story, and that's happening through Spring Boot, um, I thought that was interesting, particularly because everybody at Pivotal is clearly excited about this technology. All of the groups, didn't matter whether they were on the data side, Cloud Foundry side, uh, Spring uh, Classic side, they're all very excited about Spring Boot. Customers are talking about it, so that was kind of cool too. So I think that was what I came away with. There's a crisp business story, there's a developer-led story, and then there's a let's like slug it out with IBM story. It's all coming together actually pretty nicely for Pivotal. Um, that was my reckons. That's Monk Chips in three minutes, four minutes, nearly five minutes. Follow, comment, and subscribe.